Hello, SetApp family. Today we are recovering some photos. Have you ever got so caught up in deleting random images or hundreds of duplicate photos on your phone that you over-deleted and regretted it? Well, we are here to help you out. Let's get to it. The first way to retrieve your deleted photos on the iPhone is to check your recently deleted folder, open your Photos app, go to Albums, and scroll to Recently Deleted. There, you can select the ones you want to recover and click Recover. You can also recover deleted iPhone photos one by one. Just open each photo you think might want to get back in the folder and tap Recover if you decide to. That's your built-in iPhone photo recovery. But what if you've wiped your recently deleted folder already or had to reset your phone altogether? Can you recover permanently deleted photos? Actually, in some cases you do. Here's another way you can find deleted photos on your iPhone. You will need a Mac and a recovery app called Disk Drill for this task. This popular file recovery tool is super easy to use. Here's how to recover permanently deleted photos on iPhone with this app. Connect your iPhone to your Mac with a lightning cable. Open Disk Drill on your Mac and select iPhone in the list of drives in the app. Click Recover to prompt the app to find deleted photos on your iPhone. Preview the files that were found. Click Recover on the ones you want to recover. Voila! That's how to get deleted photos back on your iPhone. You can also try and check your iCloud for any images you've already deleted from your phone. Go to iCloud.com and log in with your Apple ID. Select the Photos app and open the recently deleted folder. Another hack on how to retrieve deleted photos on iPhone is using your most recent iCloud backup. It may contain the images you've already deleted. This is a more radical way to go about this, since you will have to erase your iPhone before restoring from an iCloud backup. So make sure you have all your important data backed up elsewhere before you do this. You can use your Mac's built-in tools or app AnyTrans for iOS to create backups for your iPhone. Note that the Apple ID on your Mac has to be different from the one where your iPhone backup that you want to restore is saved, or else your new backup will overwrite the old one, the one that you want to access. Now, let's back up our phone before we wipe it for restoring. First, we are connecting your iPhone to Mac with a lightning cord. Next, we open Finder and spot our phone's name and locations. Decide if you want to encrypt your backup, and if yes, add a password. If your backup doesn't start automatically, click Backup Now to begin. With any transfer iOS, you have a little more flexibility. You can view individual files on your phone and decide what to do with them. You can also migrate data. The app has so many features, but let's go back to our backup. Click the backup icon on the app's menu panel on the left, and now you see the Welcome to Backup Manager page. To back up your phone, just click Backup Now. Now that we've backed up everything, we can reset the iPhone by going to Settings, General, Transfer or Reset iPhone. Again, this is a bit of a roundabout way of doing this, so only erase your iPhone if you really, really need that photo or several that you can't recover otherwise, and only if you are fairly certain that you might have the photo you are looking for in your old iPhone backup. Once your iPhone's current version is backed up to a Mac or with any trans for iOS, restore the backup you have saved on iCloud by choosing Restore from iCloud option on your freshly erased iPhone and logging into your Apple ID account that has the iCloud backup you are looking for, and hopefully your old images were backed up there. We hope this video on how to find and recover deleted photos on iPhone has been useful. Like this video so that other users could find it. And subscribe for more videos on making your Mac and iOS life easier with tools on SetApp.